Hello there, Virgos. And they have all of these ideas. And um, this is somebody that you trust. Keep in mind, this is somebody like that is really solid and that some it's somebody that you can always confide in they give good advice and they they're telling you hey you should do this there's this new thing that's opening up there's this new restaurant that you know um that just opened down the block or there's this position from this company that's opening up so they're bombarding you with all these messages and keep in mind because this is somebody that you trust take what they say um you know into account because I feel like they're telling you or, or they're coming at an uh, at a time in your life where you feel a little bit fearful and you're not really um, you, I feel like you're secluding yourself and you, you need to get out more you need to interact more with other people you need to you know um, relieve some stress by being out and having fun doing fun things okay um, and so it's good for you to take on this offer and then for others of you there's a lot of fears here about job security about financial security you have more than enough but I feel like job security is more like it where you're just like I would love to apply for that other position that you told me about but I'm, I'm here and here is stable here is safe I'm not going anywhere so I, I feel like that's what you're dealing with and so I, I want to say that this person is a messenger. It's serving kind of like as a, a, a spiritual, you know, uh, is bringing in spiritual advice for you. And I honestly feel some of you, your intuition has, you know, it's like your, your higher self, your spirit guides have been telling you, do this, do that. And you're just like, no, I don't, I don't want to. I, I feel safe here. I'm going to stay here. And I want to stay here for another four months. I want to stay here until the end of this year. I'll wait till next year before I'll do something new. And so when those nudges of intuitions are not being uh, taken seriously, those messages will be transposed over and they come in as physical people reiterating the message for you. So I feel like if you've ignored it before from your spirit guides, it's coming in in physical people. And these people are people that you trust telling you to do these things. So you need to make a move. You need to start moving. Okay, Virgos. So you show up here as the four of coins and the four of coins is, you know, that um, what they say that miser, he's holding on very, very protectively, very protectively to his position, his stance, his ideas, and um, he's not budging. He's not really, you know, in a way it's, it's very stagnant. And also in a way it's very like um, the, the, the focus is so much on security, job security, financial security. It's so focused on, you know, maintaining the status quo, not doing anything to rock the boat, not venturing out, not allowing new opportunities to come in. Um, and, and just being content with the status quo that we don't really, we allow our lives to stagnate. We allow opportunities to pass us by. We allow, we kind of like close some doors on things too prematurely. So I feel like someone is coming through to make, to kind of like help you bust out of that sense of, um, stagnation take it uh, seriously okay because I feel like you've been getting nudges for quite some months now Virgo and this is the time for you to take this person seriously um, I feel like this person is telling you about a job is telling you about here's what I'm doing and it's working out great you should do the same thing you should do exactly what I'm doing and um, you're just like, I'm, I'm not ready. I, I need to stay here for another few months. I need to figure things out on my end. And uh, I'm going to do it in the future. I will, I will. But I don't feel that you're, you're taking them seriously. Or I feel like you're weighing out the options. And you're just like, there are too many risks, too, many, too much uncertainty. I can't really do it. Okay, so be careful about that. I feel like you need a change. And you've been needing a change for quite some time. So do it when it comes in. Don't procrastinate on it any longer. Um, the second message that I'm getting here is, um, I, it just feels to me like there are a lot of opportunities for socializing around you. But I also feel like, you know, the work environment, um, maybe you're a parent, you have children, you want to spend time with them, and uh, you don't want to, you, you don't trust. I feel like a little bit of a paranoia coming in. It's almost like, 
I, I, if I want to go out, I have to get a babysitter. I don't really get trust the babysitter. I don't really trust, you know, daycare facilities. I know that I should do it by myself because I trust myself with my own kids. So I feel like you're hesitant about leaving your little ones in the care of strangers just to go out. Or you feel, honestly, I feel like you feel uh, like a little bit selfish doing that. Like you need to get out and decompress and, you know, just relax. And so leaving your kids, you know, with, for two hours, I feel like it's okay. But I feel like you're, you're, you feel guilty and you don't want to do that. Or you feel guilty. There's some guilt here as well. Um, for example, you, you're with your family, you know, and then some of your friends are telling you we should go here and there. And uh, there's that element about, you know, I have money to do it. I have money for recreational things. But I should invest my money in taking care of my kids and investing in taking my kids out. So you're denying yourself a lot of opportunities, uh, mainly because of guilt. Okay? Be careful about that, Virgos. Um, you work yourself to death and you deserve to, you know, splurge a little bit. You deserve, uh, deserve to have a few, like, guilty pleasure things. And you deserve to, you know, clear your head by going out with your friends. That's within your right. So don't justify it by, by feeling guilty or don't justify it um, in a way that's not healthy, I guess. Um, so the third message I have here is, um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm, I'm seeing something about um, networking, okay? Networking with people who are in a higher position. So I, I feel like a lot of people in your work environment, they really respect you. So even if you just got into the company, for example, I see you like rubbing elbows with other people that might be in the upper management position. And they don't see you as less than, you know, they don't see you as, oh, this is a rookie or this person just got into the company or this person is in a junior position. They see you as their equals. And um, they really like you. And I also feel like, you know, because of that, um, it would be good for you to, you know, maintain those contacts, mainly because they can help you get places. They can help you get projects moving. They can help you land a better position as well. So, you know, keep those, maintain those relationships. If they're asking you, you know, oh, do you want to, you know, have like... Um, have happy hour with us or go to happy hour with us and you're just like I don't know I'm the only one in this position everyone is higher up I don't feel like it's right and I don't feel like I feel like I'm you know overstepping my boundaries I feel like you should go because um, it, it seems like they might be grooming you for new opportunities or they want your inputs or they want your ideas okay so there's an element here about hierarchy within the workplace where you feel it's not appropriate um, but I feel like it, it's still going to be good for you, okay? Um, if, on the other hand, if someone is making a pass at you in the professional front, that's definitely not okay, and, and we know that, right? So I, I'm not worried about you making the wrong decisions. It's just I feel like if it's people that you can, you're you rubbing elbows with and you feel safe with, and they want you to just hang out for happy hour and things like that, then that's fine, okay? Um, so the last message that I have here, I feel like there has been some type of, um, it, it just seems to me like, it, it just feels more to me like conflict at work or conflict with a specific person at work. I'm feeling a very strong fire sign. So this is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, for some of you, I feel it's a co-worker kind of like invading your space. For others, I feel like this is a family member as well, um, possibly a mother figure, a father figure, or somebody with children, okay, like within your family. And there's a lot of, uh, there has been a lot of uh, disagreements with this person in the past. And I feel like, you know, things are very cyclical. I'm thinking of Sagittarius as I say this, um, that Sagittarius, Leo, both of those come up very strongly. So I feel like the, the conflict is very, um, you feel like they're a little bit reckless. They feel that you're too cautious. So there's this conflict here brewing between the two of you. I do sense that they're going to they're gonna back off. Okay, I feel like they're going to back off. They're going to listen to what you're saying and they're going to take what you say to heart. So there's kind of like this coming together, this mutual sense of like understanding each other, agreeing to disagree and moving on with our lives. Okay, so Virgos, I feel like there's a lot of things happening in your environment, but I feel that 
um, you some of you could be a little bit too stuck in your ways and so when when a situation calls for compromise try to compromise okay and then for others of you branch out a little bit more um, do things that can bring you personal enjoyment and don't feel guilty okay especially for new parents out there I, I do sense like a lot of paranoia about leaving your kids with strangers and uh, you know ask a family member to even uh, help or chip in somebody that you trust okay friend family members I feel like they are more than willing to take care of your kids while you just you know go out and, and decompress for a few hours okay so don't feel guilty about you know um, taking care of yourself your emotional needs need to come first this month okay your emotional needs needs to you needs to be um, you need to take care of yourself emotionally all right so I wish you all the best, Virgos. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll be back for the August reading. Bye-bye.